All right, let's begin not in the northwest, but in the northeast and look at the two day rainfall. 48 hour rain totals here of the New England states. Here's Hartford, Connecticut, southeast uh, Connecticut with in Norfolk, where they had three and a half inches of rain. Again, flooding, just torrential flooding down these rivers. It's been an awful scene in southern Connecticut, just outside of New York City. Look at this, almost eight inches of rain. They're saying it's worse than uh, the tropical storm or the remnants of Irene that pushed up to the north and soaked this entire region in this yellow band. Here we're talking about a significant rainfall of more than four inches, and that was stretching right through Vermont. And they we're going to have some bad flooding tonight as well up in Burlington. And so this continues. This is an historic system, and you see a low pressure. See it swirling in the northeast here. Very interesting. This is what happened all spring long. We had what's called an omega block, where the atmosphere just goes into a log jam, and you have low pressure uh, in the eastern part of the United States. So here it is, right here, swirling around, not barely moving at all, and just circulating rain around it. Then we go to the west and look at this another low pressure here much less moisture here in the west but it's kind of hanging out here as well and then in the center part of the country a high pressure system that again nothing's moving uh, because of the fact we call it an omega block and so that low pressure hangs on a cold front sweeping through and it's drying things out and just in time if this front was a little slower we'd have had some severe weather across southwest idaho but they're getting some strong storms southeast of missoula these track enough to the north and to the east but very dry conditions to the west that clear Clear air coming in, lots of sunshine and temperatures coming down a little bit. Still, the breeze will be around tomorrow, but we'll see temperatures that are going to be consistent to what we're seeing here. Look at this in the 80s to the west, still 95 uh, as we had it during the day today. Tomorrow might even dip it down just another degree or two. And there are the clouds with some isolated storms that push north of McCall today. And here's the forecast for the rest of the week, all the way through the coming weekend. 80 degrees today, similar story tomorrow, 79 on Thursday. This is some real comfortable weather. Then over the weekend, 81 and then warming up again, 84, 84. No chance of showers or storms. There's a couple lingering ones in Valley County this evening, but they're going to go away. And we're going to get this crystal clear sky during the day tomorrow. Still a Scott score of a 7 with a temperature up a little bit, 94. Not too bad. There'll be a little bit of a breeze around as well, and the pollen counts up. So instead of making it 8, I'm going to keep it at a 7, but it's really going to be a nice day tomorrow. Not as hot as yesterday. Yesterday, again, 103, and so tomorrow it drops down even a little bit more. And if you look at the Scott score across the region here, we've got eights and nines in the central mountains. It's going to be a little breezy in Stanley. Otherwise, I'd have given it a nine and catch them some gusty breezes as well, but still lots of sunshine, very comfortable temperatures. Sevens in the valley here, primarily because of the heat still sticking around, but that's still a pretty nice looking day. Lucky Peak forecast for this weekend. Lake is full, 97 degrees, beautiful boating weather again. Again, the breezes are going to be around for a little while now, but by Saturday may be gone. Hotter than normal conditions are likely over the six to ten day forecast. And look at that. No precipitation. It's going to be staying dry across the west. So here you go. Mid 90s for the day tomorrow. Low to mid 90s. Still a little breezy. We'll have that northwest wind continuing. And in the McCall area, temperatures right around 80. Everybody is going to be clear tomorrow. That bright sunshine continues and sunshine right through the entire week, mid 90s through Friday. And then over the weekend, we're at 100 to 101 Saturday through Monday.